I remember exactly what I was doing. I was actually in school, um, going in my uh, in, for, in San Antonio, going. Um, I was walking in the dining facility, and then in the dining facility back then, this was obviously about 10 years ago, um, I look, they, had, they used to have a, a screen, always had CNN on it, always. So I would go eat breakfast and catch up on the news. And I thought it was a hoax, I couldn't believe it. I looked at it, I was like, what? That can't be. I, it was, it's, I, could, I didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, I didn't know if they were going to, you know, we were going to war, you know, the first thing in my mind, I, I can't believe it. So that, I saw the first one in the morning, uh, the first tower, and it was still standing, it was still erect when I saw it on the news. It was just smoke coming out of the building. And then, you know, you continue on with the mission, you're, you're disbelief, but then later on um, that morning, one of the instructors said, hey, this is what happened, and they explained to us. And uh, <clears throat> I didn't have any family members, but, you know, you, you feel um, disappointed. I felt disappointed. I was like, how, I don't understand how somebody could be doing this. You know, just trying to rationalize it a little bit is... No. What were the emotions you were feeling? Oh, I was definitely angry. Um, <clears throat> disbelief, definitely. I couldn't, I, when I first saw it, I was like, is that real? I didn't, I, I couldn't, couldn't believe it. I was like, couldn't, like that a movie? That's thing going to my mind. You know, something that you see in special effects movies and stuff like that, not something you see in real life. So. How did it change you, that experience? Uh, as soon as I could, I definitely volunteered to get deployed. Um, my wife is also in the Army, so we both volunteered at the same time to go. Uh, um, after that, we just, it's just ingrained, you know. It's, I want to be here to do the best I can and help the, help future soldiers and, you know it's hard to explain I guess you know you're feeling something you don't you don't have any you don't have any relationship with any of those people that are there but just the fact that they're attacking what you know the one of the basic things that you stand for that's rough that's, that's hard hard pill to swallow and not be able to do anything back